Yeti. Well, currently we're driving to the airport to drop me off. You'll find another car, find another car for South Flight 24. I arrived at the dump. Now, I just gotta get my roommate to meet me up to help me get to orientation with my luggage because my flight got delayed and I'm gonna miss it. Okay, this is the dorm room tour, parents. Got the, these wardrobes in this little hallway here. And this nice bathroom. Um, this is the shower curtain we have for now. It's pretty nice. Got, got a shower. You know, it exists, that's, that's good. It's our own shower. And look, the thing's tall enough that I can fit under it. That's good. Some bigger, they're really short and I couldn't fit and I'm not that tall. Got, got a roommate in here somewhere. I've lost him. He, oh, he's there. He, I was tired. <laughs> I didn't know if this was a roommate friendly dorm tour. <laughs> anyway, those are our windows with tons of curtains. This is my bed. I like my bed. This is Rowan's bed. He likes his bed. And this is our wonky wall. Very nice, very wonky. Max Wonk. Very nice. And this is another desk right here. Yay! Hello, look, we're, we're walking. So for this first week, Rowan and I both had freshman pre-orientation. What pre-orientation is, is it's an optional thing where freshmen can come out a week early to get used to campus and make friends and do a different program. My program was for low-income students called Flypop, and Rowan's was for students interested about environmental science and civil engineering. We both had a blast. Mine involved me staying on campus for two days and then traveling to Camp Burgess for three days. It was so fun. We're getting ice cream. Okay guys, where are we gonna go now? Uh, Target. Yes, we're going to Target. Rowan is on the hammock. I'm not gonna fall off of it. This time. You missed, you missed the fun part. Yes, we're exploring our amazing... No! Oh, man. Well... <laughs> Look at this, we got this fun game here. It doesn't have a massage money. chair. Very old massage chair, but it's a massage chair. These chairs. Uh, man, this is so nice. It just keeps going. Look at all this. This is crazy. Pac-Man, this game. This is incredible. Rowan and I are going to the by the banana lounge where an um, ID printing kiosk is because I had to print my ID because I got here late. Walking through the infinite corridor on the way to the banana lounge and the ID creator. I'm printing my ID. We're on our way to get matcha, walking across the Boston Bridge. You may not be able to tell, but Rowan and I are very wet. It rained as we walked back. But the matcha and ube were good. This is our lounge in Simmons. All the way up. Look at this art piece. All the eyes creepily follow you. This is amazing. It's a balcony. This is amazing. Look at We're up there with our dorms. Probably. We're going to have a rough night if we can't get back in. We'll figure it out. During the days where Flypop, we had a lot of different sessions. This one was on career development. Don't ask me how the Legos related. None of us figured it out either. We just built fun things with Legos. A lot of the other sessions were very useful though, like touring MIT Health and learning about our health insurance. I get free acupuncture apparently. You'll have a video of that soon. And also learning important study skills and mental health tips. Finally, it was time to leave with Flypop for Camp Burgess. How do you feel to be fly, Andrew? You're not Andrew. Uh, how do you feel to be fly? I'm pretty good. I'm Andrew, by the way. <laughs> Let's get to know. Let's get to know Peter. <laughs> yes. Yes, we just got into our cabins. Here's my epic bunk bed. That's Peter, oh. how do you feel about cooking the s'mores? I'm being methodical this time, so I don't ruin it. You 
got this, Peter. Oh, that's the good part. What about you, Andrew? That's, that's the good part of the board. Board game time. Yes. Are you going to win the card game, Andrew? No, I have zero black cards. You got to step it up. You guys are about to witness a Twinkle Twinkle Little Star masterpiece. Overall, I think we all had an amazing time at camp doing team bonding, ropes courses, trying to learn archery, and failing in my case at least. Um, even getting to go on the lake and kayak, we all got in a war canoe together to go around the entire lake. It was amazing, staying up late with friends, playing board games, um, burning marshmallows with Andrew, and also doing some really insightful presentations from the camp counselors who were older MIT students. On the final morning, Andrew shook me out of bed at 4 a.m. to go see the sunrise. And it was just such a great ending to Fly Pop. I'm so excited for the rest of the year and what it's going to hold.